So in this video, Ted's Outdoors, I will be showing you how to build a survival kit inside of an Israeli scarf. This is a great thing that I enjoy doing. You know, an Israeli scarf is a great thing to use outdoors and especially for building a survival kit. So I'm just going to show you that real quick. Okay, so in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to build a survival kit in type or inside of an Israeli scarf. Now I have an assortment of different things here for my survival kit. I have assortment of cordage, bank line, which is probably my favorite. I have a little bit of paracord and a little bit of shock cord, which is a rubber band type of cord, which stretches. And that's good for a lot of different things too. So those are my three cordages. And then over here in my fire area, I have a fire steel. And this is a very large fire steel. And it comes with the striker. And then I have a big lighter. I have tape on it so it doesn't get pressed down to get all the fluid out of it. And then I have it paracord wrapped. And then I'll have some coconut oil. I did a video on this a while ago. Coconut oil has a bunch of different uses. Not only for fire making but maintaining tools. And leather. And then I have a small flashlight that takes double A's my survival kit and then over here I have two more knives just to give you an example of a type of knife you can carry in this but I'll probably be using this one there's just a couple more knives this one cost about 19 bucks and this one cost about eight and then I have tinder this is cotton balls soaked in petroleum jelly with magnesium savings in them and that is to go in my fire kit also and then I'll have one mink snare that I got of, off of the website Self-Reliance Outfitters. This is a snare that you can stake, put a stake through here into the ground or put it on a log or whatever. And it's a ready-made snare made out of wire to trap all your game just when you're on the go. And then I'll have my knife sharpener for my knives. And then I have a small first aid kit with just the essentials, um, hand rinse, neosporin, alcohol preps, gauze, all that, band-aids. Then after that, in this little bag I made, I have a signal mirror. That's good for signaling airplanes or people or ships or whatever you're going to do in a survival situation. Any type of people that you need to signal. I'll just keep that in cotton cloth. This cotton cloth can also be used in your fire kit. And then, for my third way of making fire, along with my big lighter and my fire steel, I have a magnifying glass. These are is a great, reliable way of making fire. I got this off of Self Reliance Outfitters also. Okay, so you can see here that I have my Israeli scarf in a triangle. I just folded it once over because it comes in a square about 40 inches by 40 inches. And you can see here I have you know, my fire kit, fire steel, striker, tinder, magnifying glass, knife. I decided to go with this knife, this Mora companion. And then it comes with an extra Coglins fire steel that I put on there myself. So j just another way of making fire. And then I'll have my flashlight lighter, coconut oil, knife all in one work sharp knife sharpener, and then all my assortment of cordages and my first aid kit. Now, as you can see here I have it just in a triangle. I'm just gonna fold it up over like this and back like that. I'm gonna go under a little bit actually. And then I'm just gonna roll it all over once. All over. I'm gonna try and tighten it near the ends and roll it over one more time. And so there you right, go. Ready, set, action. So here I have my survival kit and my Israeli scarf. And to tighten it so no nothing falls out, I'm just going to twist it up. Just 
twist up the ends like that. Twist them real tight. And you can tie them if you want with a piece of cord or whatever you want. Or do an overhand knot. So I'm just going to tighten up so nothing's coming out. Now I'm going to turn around and strap this on my back. So that way, along with my bushcraft kit, my knife, I also have I also have a survival kit like that.